Yes, that's right. Warzone Mobile is officially available on iOS. Just to prove it, you can see right here the lobby screen. You can go into operators, store, everything, and it's available right now on your iPad. So we're going to check that out in this video. But for you guys that need to download it right now and want it available for when it's ready on iOS, I'm going to show you how to do it. Okay, step number one, you're going to need to create yourself a brand new iOS account. Basically, what you're going to need to do is change your country region to Australia, but you don't want to do that on your main account. Otherwise, it's going to be locked to Australia for 90 days. So the best thing to do is create a brand new iOS account. First things first, go into settings on your iPad or your iPhone, sign out of your current iOS account and create a brand new one. Once you've created that brand new account and you're signed in, then you need to go to the settings again, click on your name on the top left, and then you need to find media and purchases. Now, next up, you'll see country and region. If you click that, then all you need to do is find the region in Australia and then you don't need to put any payment details in so if you just put none on that all you need to do is put a random billing address in. You can do that with a random Australia generator on Google, but they mainly only look at the postcode, so you can just randomly put one in. Now, once that's all good to go, you've got your Australia iOS account. You're going to need a VPN just to be able to see the game on the App Store. I've linked a free VPN in the description below, so you can go and download that if you want to. On that VPN, you need to connect to Australia Sydney, and then once you're connected, go over to the iOS Store, search Wars on Mobile, and it should show up. If it doesn't show up, then what you can do is you can go and search... Call of Duty Mobile, click on the word Activision just below the Call of Duty Mobile name, and you'll see that they've released a brand new app, Warzone Mobile BR. And there you have it, boys. You can download iOS right now, ready for when it's fully available. Now, once you load up the app, you're obviously going to need to download the 5 gigabyte download. Make sure you're still connected to Australia while you're using the app, because otherwise you're not going to be able to get past the login screen. Log in with your Activision account that you use to play Modern Warfare 2 and Warzone 2.0 on as well. And there you have it. Once you're in the game, you can see the whole of the lobby screen now unfortunately you can't play it is only available for australia but you're going to be able to check out all of the lobby screen all of the operators the weapons change your settings your hud everything you need for when ios is available and if you check on twitter Call of Duty Wars and Mobile recently tweeted that iOS will be available soon. They said that we are just excited as you are to take down the Wars on Mobile experience worldwide. For now, we are focused on building up our experience in the land down under, Australia. You are ready to drop in for all other operators. Hold tight. So they're communicating a ton, which means iOS should be available in more regions soon. But hit a like and comment down below if you've got any problems and I'll try and help you. And some people have actually already played it, so we're going to check that out now. All right, boys. So we got Win Sanity right now, Even my LG really like colleague. Messi his hair and everything looks better than it did and, on uh, he's earlier. playing some blitz royale he managed iOS... to play uh, ipad early so we're going to check out exactly what the graphics look like but go sub to win sanity if you haven't done so already legend youtuber the build is just further along than android and this damn. is insane yeah it does look insane damn look at the textures on ios they look so much better all right i'm not guaranteeing a win or anything here okay we're just going to check it out no 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 you guarantee a win win here we go win win but yo, damn, that looks good. All right, lads, let's get it looks out. like it's a lot smoother as well. Maybe it's, it must be 60 FPS, what surely. Uh, so he's playing with Bobby as well. So Enemy these guys uh, managed to get into this iOS thing before I guess it got patched because no, no one can actually get in and play right now on iOS, only Australians. But damn, look at it. Oof. Just even just the, the even just the grass looks ten times better on iOS. So on Google Play, they they got a lot of optimizations to do on Google Play, but iOS seems to be crispy, 60 FPS. Doesn't look like any any frame drops or anything either. There's not too many buttons on the screen. There's a lot to a lot of places to actually put your buttons on the screen instead of it being clustered over a mobile phone. Wins first kill. Ooh, there it is. Let's go win. I think that guy just spoke on game chat as well. But damn, look. Even just the reload animations look so much better. Obviously, the textures do need to be up slightly. It's still... I, I think the graphic options are still locked for win right now. Let's go. There's another one, win. Run, bro. Get reloaded, bro. Shield up. Yeah, the, the graphic textures right there, like on that shelf and stuff, they definitely need to be upped. Wind's got the reload on. Is that an LMG? Oh, that's the cast off 762. 
Why is that an LMG reload? That's not an LMG. That's an assault rifle. Let's go. Damn, even just the shooting and animate. Like I said, the animations look a lot better. Or maybe that's the... Oh, no, he ran over the cast off. So that is an LMG. Right, he's running the open right now. And yeah, just, just grass textures as well. I mean, you guys... Hey, oh, what a quad kill. You guys saw on... Uh, on... Um... On the Google Play Android version, the, the grass and the textures were the worst thing in the game. Like, running past it just looked terrible. But, obviously, the developers have got a lot more work to do um, on the uh, on the Android version. But the iOS version just looks good. I think they just need to up the graphics. Uh, these look like they're probably on low or very low right now. But I think it looks good. It, lo it looks very smooth. Very smooth. Oh, damn. That dude had no clue. That dude had no clue. Yeah, Win is Win and Bobby are popping off, man. Quad bike coming in. Go on, get the kill. Oh, bit of hip fire. Chasing Win. Yeah, look like like um, building shadows and everything as well. Look great. Go on, Win, get the kill. Oof, that's some recoil on that gun. I think that's the AK. Yeah, that's an AK. And then the other gun he's got is a uh, is a BR, I think. Ooh, they're getting killed. I think they're, they're getting shot from the top of the roof then. <coughs> but nah, even just like that's... Alright, still got tax break. Like sub... Like just the wall textures look a lot better as well. For low graphics too, so... That kind of gives me good hope for low-end device optimizations as well. But we'll see. We'll see. I don't want to get too ahead of myself. The grass... Yeah, the grass doesn't look incredible. It's still the lowest texture in the game as well as the mountains. But they're, they're going to be worked on. It's still early stages of the game. It's still technically only a soft launch. Very early stages of a soft launch as well. So we've got a long way to go. Right. Coming down to final zone right now. The car right there. Let's see if Wynn can... Uh, Get the win. Gas is inbound. Marking new safe zone. He's got the precision. Is he going to use it? Nope. He's going to pop that out. Right. He's got the BR right there. Get the AK kill right there on him. Nice, nice, nice. Cracked. Hit markers are still very big. Like, they have huge hit markers. So, they need to be reduced slightly. Hey, yo. Go on. Oh, easy. Yeah, the the floor textures aren't aren't that great there. The stones and stuff, but it's it's all right for mobile, I suppose. Okay, shot in the back. But I can't wait to see like all behind us, right? Very high uh, textures and stuff on on here. iOS when the game actually comes out. He's using the precision. Is that precision or yeah, he's a precision. Oh shit, he's out of zone. Getting the zone, man. Win. Nice. Is that the last kill? Let's go, dude. Let's go. Oh, my God. This feels so good. It's incredible. I'm jealous, man. Oh I want to play God. it so badly. This is unbelievable. I, I really hope that, like, just kind of spoke for itself. I don't know. It looks good. It, like, the textures look better. The frame rate's great. The control. It just, man, Apple is so tight with the experience. I, that's why most of the content creators you see in PUBG Mobile, Call of Duty Mobile, Apex Mobile, they're all playing on iPads, man. Yeah. So to see this game running on, like, the pinnacle of devices. Look at Bobby, Messi. <laughs> iPad Pro. <laughs> well done, Activision. This is well on its way to being a very, very, very good experience. I know everybody does not have an iPad Pro, but if you do, it's going to run pretty well. There you go. So that's it, guys. That's Warzone Mobile. Make sure you hit a like, subscribe, and drop a comment down below if you've got any questions on how to get it on your iPad, and I'll be sure to help in the comments. Thanks for watching, boys. Peace!